Well, um, this is a random video that I'm just making out of the blue. Um, it's a rant. I'm not going to be referencing anything like necessarily like from the good book or anything like that. I mean, like literally I'm about to go to bed. It's past my bedtime. It's 10, 11. <laughs> um, I should have been in bed 10 minutes ago and I just, or 11 minutes ago and I mean, like, I already, like, lashes are off, jewelry is off, I have one earring on. <laughs> like, I, this is not something that, like, I planned. So I'm just going to go ahead and just speak my piece because it's like, a, it's a rant video. It's a, it's a question. I sincerely am concerned with the state of affairs in the world today because it seems it seems as though there's really just like not a lot of real people walking this earth anymore um and i'm wondering what the fuck is going on like i know i get really passionate about things i know i don't care what the status quo is i know that i have my own opinions i know i really truly don't give a fuck what other people think it, I, 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 I would like to live in a world like that <laughs> where other people are the same way. And I, I, I don't know what has gone down. I don't know what has happened. Uh, I just watched this video from this entity. I, I don't even know if it's a real person because everything is like the voice is automated. <laughs> um, the, 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 there's no face, there's no identity tied to this entity that I just watched a video from. So I'll link the video below. It's called The Dead Internet. And it's it's funny. It's really funny because obviously, you know, I just found one of the lashes I took off. I was looking for it. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know what has gone down obviously like i'm not even 30 yet i'm older than the internet is and <laughs> i i grew up with the internet but not the internet that exists today i grew up with the internet like the myspace you know youtube when it first came out <laughs> um i i grew up with um music music jesus or i don't even remember what it was called but like where you used to have to go to like these websites just to watch music videos like these like abandoned or like old websites i used to oh let me switch my thing so i can just face you guys so i'm not looking at you like from the side i used to i used to go like on yeah video jesus music jesus or whatever i remember when the first smartphone came out when we were in high school, in ninth grade specifically. And you know, there wasn't these apps, there wasn't this Instagram, Facebook, there wasn't all this shit. And the internet was a place where you could go to express yourself. And that's what I'm still doing to this day in 2022. And when I created my YouTube channel, that was my intention was to express myself and share my real life experiences and that's kind of what i crave from other people as well but as i go on i'm noticing that that's not what i'm finding not people having real experiences more so people sharing their experiences on current trends or whatever the status quo is and i am I am just sincerely, again, wondering where the real people are because people, when they make a YouTube now, it's it's so that they can be a content creator. It's not so that, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I have never considered myself a content creator. I make my videos and I edit them. Like I edit out the parts where, you know, that don't need to be seen. Like if I'm, if I stumbled on some words or something, I edit it out because I like for the presentation to be clean, but I'm not a content creator. I'm not after followers. I'm not after subscribers or any of that shit. And I don't care about clout on the internet. Like so many people do and have been socialized to give a fuck about. Uh, it's just not me. 
And for people like me, I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to do. Because when you walk outside, the people are tapped in to the meta. It's like Ready Player One. Like they're totally in the oasis. And I'm a woman that likes to build connections with real life people. I like to meet real life people and I like to spend time with real life people. So it's very difficult to see that other real life people not only don't have an interest in being around other real life people, but they just don't see the importance of it. And I don't care. I, again, I the, the whole COVID thing, I never believed in it. You guys did because you guys trust in the internet to tell you how to live life. And that's sad. And I know that's not a popular opinion, but like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't give a fuck about the popular opinion. I have my own brain. I have my own opinions. So this is a, min a mini video, like a rant, like end of the day, like <laughs> it's just on my mind. I'm not trying to, I don't have points. I don't have an agenda or a delivery really. These are just things that are going through my mind because I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. You know, this is real life. Um, like my sister was saying, like going out to eat, like, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> like I need to stop. <laughs> I did. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna cry, but like my sister said, like when she goes out to eat, like she just sees people on their phone. Me, um, in the last couple of times I've gone out to eat, I have seen people like out, you know, to eat like with their family members or their boyfriends and girlfriends and stuff. So they're at least engaging with each other. But even my sister said that like when she goes out, she sees people like on their phone. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like you're outside and that's what you do? <laughs> I, I don't know. And it could be because again, I was living in Dominican Republic, you know, that's a third world country. There'd be like one phone per household. <laughs> I'm not laughing at them. That's actually a beautiful thing to me. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like, I just am wondering what has happened. Um, with the originality of other people. What the fuck has happened to the originality? What the fuck has happened to the people? Where are the people that are alive and breathing and living life? And I think what this video or like the point of this video is, is are you living your life? That's my real sincere question to you if you come across this video and you probably won't come across this video. The YouTube that existed when I first made this channel is not the same YouTube that exists right now. Like I used to be able to have conversations with people in my comment section. That used to be a real thing. And now all I get is a thumbs up or a five star emoji comment or something that's illegible that doesn't even sound like somebody real is talking. That's what I get now. And that's some bullshit. And so I'm obviously gonna keep expressing myself and keep you know, getting these thoughts out because I don't think it's healthy to like hold it in. So what's the best place to do that? It's on my platform. I do the same thing on Twitter. Um, I just vent and and I and it's crazy because a couple of weeks ago I was talking to my sister and I'm like, Twitter used to be fucking different. Like motherfuckers used to get on Twitter and used to fucking type out shit that they were thinking. That's what it like used to be. Um, and now all this shit today is like, it's over political. It's all about trends. It's all about themes. Um, it's all about what's hot and what's new. How can I join in the conversation and add my tiny little two cents instead of just speaking my mind and maybe, wow, today's a beautiful day. I spent the day at the beach with my baby and it was cool. That's what Twitter, what, that's what it was back when it was, you know, 120 characters and, I guess I'm just like, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't feel lost myself, but it's like when I go out and I see that there's a very, it's very difficult to connect with other people because other people don't know what to connect on. It's difficult 
to say the least. It's difficult to like live my life or it's difficult to just be me, you know? Being me is connecting with real life humans. And unfortunately, real life humans have turned into biobots. And it's funny because it's like this video, it's, it's, it's full circle, it's 2022. I started my channel in 2015, I think. It was 2015 or 2016, but seven years, you know what I mean? Like it, it's just changed so much. And I used to attract people, like real people to my channel, but there was no algorithm based on um, hot topics or anything like that and promotions based on like ad sense revenue and, and shit like that. That's not what that fucking was. It's not what it was. It was people on the internet sharing like different moments in their lives. Some people were just like sharing like America's funniest home videos type shit. Other people were like the conspiracy theories. Like back in 2015, you could really fall down a rabbit hole of new information back in 2015. I, I, I can't do that now. There's, there is nothing there. Like all the real shit is either not promoted or suppressed or both. And so, oh man, I, I guess, again, like I said, I don't really have a point to this video. I just wanted to, I just feel so silly not having both of my earrings on. I guess my point and what I'm trying to make is that like, I'm saddened. I'm saddened by the conditions that we live in today. I know people are fine with being on the internet and being on these apps for hours. Anybody who knows me knows I have an Instagram profile. I have a TikTok profile. I have a Facebook profile, but I don't use any of those on a regular basis because it, it, it feels like a waste of my valuable time that I can be spent living my life. And I guess, what really saddens me is that the the general people at least if they were born i think like 2000 and later but even people in the 90s and 80s range like even they have like abandoned real life for the app life and the way the way information is processed the way people are thinking it is it's, it's curated, like the way people are thinking is told to them by some entity. And that is why there's such a disconnect between real life and the phone life, like the, the app life, the, the social media life, like social media is media. And people keep forgetting somehow, they just do not take me seriously. I went to school for journalism. I was a journalism major. I have my bachelor's degree in journalism, specifically with the emphasis in media studies. So they taught us, right? They taught us how to use media to manipulate the public. That's what they taught us. We had projects on that, okay? So I don't know what people are thinking when they consume all this media and they don't take it from somebody who understands from the inside. <laughs> they don't take my word for it. But media is not real life. It's a representation of an agenda. And that was actually one of the things that we were, that we studied was the agenda setting theory. That was one of the things we had to unpack because it's just like if the media, whoever runs media sets an agenda, they can keep pushing that and people with their gullibleness and lack of experience in real life, they're going to fucking believe that shit. And it's sad. It, it's sad, but, but unfortunately it's real life. And there's, there's no real connections, right? People who are in relationships today. It's for the optics, right? Niggas be getting beat down behind closed doors. But then today they took that cute picture and they can upload it on Instagram and they can prove to everybody that they're happy and they've made it or something, you, you know? Um, and I, it's a very sad existence. I think that that's a very sad existence. That's me selfishly. Um, I think that even my own existence is a little sad in the sense that when I walk outside, it's just bio bots all over the place. Like it's not other real people. Coming across other real people is becoming so fucking rare. 
it's becoming something like unseen and no wonder why I'm a lot for these people. Like no fucking wonder they haven't come across somebody like me. They haven't come across somebody who fucking thinks. They haven't come across somebody who is not consuming all the fucking media. So I don't understand what's going on. I just learned what the quote unquote manosphere is when I was on a live um, video with my sister and somebody called in and started saying that word. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And so now I understand what a fucking red pill is, blue pill, what the motherfuck ever. And I, I didn't know until somebody directly told me because I didn't know before. And even after like looking at that, um, cause my sister and I are gonna start a, a channel. Like my sister and I have our own channel now. It's gonna be two real twins where we speak to real ass shit. And I know we both walk this earth for real, for real. Like we leave our houses, we walk outside, we have experiences with other live human beings. So our experiences come from what we lived out. It doesn't come from data. It doesn't come from what somebody else said they went through, right? It doesn't come from the statistics. <laughs> it, it comes from what the fuck have we seen to be true versus what we think is not true. That's why even me and my sister have differing opinions because we have different experiences. <laughs> and that used to be, that used to be real life. And <sighs> stop it, do not cry, do not cry. Lord have mercy. That used to be real life. And now what life is, is everything that's fabricated. I walk outside, I see some young ladies and I'm like, wow, she got dressed by Instagram. I can tell. It's on trend though, it's on trend. And as long as it's trendy, then she's doing the right thing. And that's just really sad because again, I'm thinking about these these younger girls, you know, I'm thinking about girls, you know, 18, 19, 20, you know, younger than 25, I guess. And it's just really sad to know that their lives, they can't live their life unless it looks like what they see online. It's very sad. Um, it's very misleading. The relationship goals bullshit. Like you have no idea what the motherfuck a relationship is looking like behind the scenes of that four by four on Instagram. It can't be relationship goals because you don't know what that relationship is like. And maybe that's why relationships are suffering so much today because all you are in the relationship for is the optics. And so you don't understand what really goes into it. You don't understand the real life arguments. You don't understand handling conflict for real, for real. As soon as it gets difficult or it's not pretty anymore, you're out of there. And that's why there's such a disconnect. There's such a disconnect with life. There's just a disconnect with life and human beings are giving their life away. They're going meta is what I'm gonna say. They're going meta, they're getting into the fucking oasis and they're living by the oasis. So that's why you have people like wanting to not, people being lazy, right? Not wanting to put in any effort for their actual lives because why live life if you can just pretend to have the life you want and then post that fantasy on social media. Like why actually do the work if you could just like pretend, right? And that seems to be the attitude. That really just seems to be the attitude that's commonplace today. So I could go on, obviously I can go on for hours and hours like on this little tangent and this little rant, but I'm not gonna do that, it's bedtime like I said. <laughs> it's 10.33 now and I just, it's really sad because a video like this that I'm making right now, I would get commentary on, like people would weigh in. That's what it would be like if it was seven years ago. But I don't see that happening now because niggas don't even have the attention span to watch a video anymore. Like unless it's like 30 seconds TikToky, <laughs> like it's not of interest and it, it, that is some of the saddest shit that I've seen because it's like, where are the real people at who are producing things that have to do with their life? Like, I don't, I don't care about an influencer. I, I, okay, 
this is the last thing I'm just gonna say. You cannot trust, you can't base your opinion on somebody based off of their likes and their number of followers. That's the number one thing that I know, but also is supported by this video that I just watched and that I'm gonna link below. There's fucking fake data and fake accounts all over the motherfucking place. And that's another reason why, like I look at profiles and I'm just like, okay, first of all, they don't have a picture, right? They don't have a picture. They don't have any content on their channel. For all I know, this isn't even a real person. They're not sharing anything. Like they're, they're just not sharing anything. They're just consuming, they're consumers. And I don't know, I guess to me, it's just, what the fuck? <laughs> just like a what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> I have to <sighs> I'm trying to not look crazy because I told you guys I don't like that I only have one earring on but I I guess I'm trying to you know I'm actually going to switch to the other ear because I don't want this one to be to not have any shine you know <laughs> I don't know I don't want the other ear to feel left out but um I I guess yes. I I'm I'm more so I'm concerned about how seriously people take the things they see online. I'm I'm literally concerned by that. And the lack of experience, like the the lack of what we would call street smarts. <laughs> the lack of that that goes around today because they just refuse to get out there, to get out there into real life and, and live. And so that's my question, you know, are you so caught up in these numbers that are so easy to manipulate? Like just today, I saw somebody on um, Instagram with 11,000 followers, right? Yet, and it was a bot, 11,000 followers and getting five likes per picture. Like you, you I mean, like, you know that that's, there's something off there, right? Like the, that's not real, you know? So I don't go off of like numbers and likes because that can be easily manipulated. That account looks like it has that many followers and they're likely all bots who aren't looking to engage with anything. They're just looking to drive numbers and statistics and data. And in this tech, world like in this real world that we're living in that is technology based now it's way too easy to manipulate data and if you haven't seen eagle eye then fucking go watch that shit <laughs> um i robot terminator i mean there's countless movies that will just kind of drive this point home but my again my question is do you want to live your life or do you just want to pretend to have one? Because that's what's happening today. A lot of people are pretending to have a life and they are not living their life. They lack the experience of living their life. People used to like want to travel, not just so they can get the perfect picture for Instagram, but because they wanted to spend time with the people of that place that they're traveling to. That was always my approach at least. <laughs> at least that was always how I rolled. And um, it's just sad. Again, it's just really sad <laughs> that, that, that this is the earth we're walking on now. So again, my last time asking this, do you want to live your life or do you want to pretend to have one? What's more important to you? Is the optics, because if you know me, I don't post any of my ish online. I, I take a very like, nigga, you had to be there in order to see it approach because you had to fucking be there. I don't have anything to prove to you motherfuckers. Nothing, nothing to prove. I live my life. I know my experiences based off of what I fucking live. My experiences are mine. If you weren't there, you weren't there. It's not for me to fucking try and make sure that you see what I'm going through. Fuck no. <laughs> my life, I keep it very private. I keep it nice. I keep it tight. My life is mine. I'm very proud of what I do in my life. And again, I live my life. I don't need to pretend to have one in front of any fucking body because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just don't care. So I, again, last time, I said the last time was the last time, but this time is the last time. 
do you want to live your life or do you just want to pretend to have one? What the fuck is of more importance to you? Which is more important? Because the world we're living in now, what's important to these people is pretending to have a life. Painting a picture of having a life instead of living their life with the time that they literally have to be alive. It's, it's, I, I don't understand. I think maybe people don't think that deeply, but it's your life. It's your life. It's your one time in this vessel and you want to spend it online. If that's what's important to you, then okay. I, I get it. I can see if pretending to have a life and neglecting your real life is more important. Okay. You know, that's really all I can say to that is okay. But it's fucking sad. So that was my little rant. <laughs> I... Uh, this has been on me. I mean, I think about this almost probably every week, you know, not necessarily every day, but like probably every week. Like it's something that's on my mind a lot because I'm just like, where the fuck are the real people at? And the real people aren't interested in engaging in real life, unfortunately. They're only interested in online and that's sad. So thank you if you watch this video. <laughs> I, I'm out. I got to go to bed. I, I just got to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>